Well, it definitely turned out to be a nice Tuesday for us today. Plenty of sunshine, a little warmer. Highs right around 80 degrees, but clear skies. We still have the clear skies out there for us right now across the region. And that's what we're going to see as we go through the overnight hours tonight. Great shot. Indigo Sky Casino and Resort. All right, let's go ahead and drop south. Here we go. Hurricane Milton uh, got a very defined eye wall this afternoon. Yesterday, it had a very small eye, but the storm was extremely intense. It's weekend today, uh, weekend a good chunk this morning, and then once we got this eye wall back, then it strengthened throughout the afternoon and evening, but now it has ticked down just a little bit over the past couple hours. So let's see what we're looking at. You can see the high clouds right out ahead of the storm. Another little upper level disturbance off to the coast of uh, Florida. But all of these clouds are kind of spreading out. So we're getting some upper level shear, which is going to try to weaken this a little bit as it starts to push towards shore, which we greatly need because it's a category five hurricane. Clocking winds at 160 a few hours ago it was 165. The pressure was 902. It's come up to 915, which does show a little bit of weakening. It should hold at category five through the night, but should drop to four for us tomorrow as it approaches the western seaboard of the Florida Peninsula. And right now it looks like it's going to move in right on the south side of Tampa. So we're looking at about midnight tomorrow night, a category four, maybe a strong three, low four, but winds at about 130. This is pretty equivalent to what we have with Helene a couple weeks ago and then it's going to move across Florida and then right back out to the Atlantic as it moves over land yeah it feeds off warm water it can't do that over land and then we'll just become a tropical depression as it pushes away but uh, thoughts prayers positive vibes to everybody in Florida over the next couple days back here at home upper 50s to near 60 degrees black and white camera, but here it looks pretty good. We have clear skies, not a whole bunch going on across the central plains. Really not much going on all the way out to the west. Here's the reason why jet stream way up to the north and all the storm systems, they like to hang out where that jet stream is. So until it moves farther south, we're just not going to get any big storm systems in here. Calm tonight, upper 40s. Let's move to the noon hour, mid to upper 70s. Once we get into the afternoon, 84, 85, so a few notches higher than what we did see today. Some clouds increase tomorrow night. Can't rule out a couple showers on the Kansas and the Oklahoma side as we go into Thursday morning, and then partly sunny right back into the mid 80s for highs. 51 to start, 77 by noon, high temp, 85. In fact, it gets even a little bit hotter. By Friday, we're pushing 90. By Saturday, we're pushing 90 again, then a strong cold front drops through and that's going to bring us back to October like weather as we move into early next week.